This episode of Ask Jay is brought to you by Netflix. You're stuck with an unfinished prototype and a business that couldn't launch. What are you going to do? I'm Jay Adelson, and I'm the founder and chairman of Revision 3. I've started and built a number of companies. My goal in this show is to pass on some of the knowledge from my experiences to you, the budding entrepreneurs, and hopefully leave you with some words of wisdom. Today's question comes from Jason in New Jersey, who asks, my tech company outsourced to develop our product. However, we had to cut our ties with the foreign developers because they were taking too long and clearly weren't grasping our concept. Now we're left with an unfinished prototype, we're behind schedule, and we're running out of funds, so having an American company finish our product is a stretch. Should we be looking for angel investors, or should we try outsourcing again? Jason, it's a bummer. I hate to say this, but you're kind of in a tough spot, and there's no magic bullet to get you out. So just to rehash, you're in a situation where you've already invested time and effort, and you've outsourced to this foreign development company, and you're left with a product that isn't going to work. You know, you're in a position that unfortunately a lot of entrepreneurs get in where they really can't get their prototype finished and get it out the door. Like I said, it's not uncommon, um, but unfortunately that is one of the risks of getting started when you invest your money in something and you can't make it work. In the cases where I've seen something come out of this, it's not through finding new angel investors or finding new uh, uh, VCs. And the reason why is because they're looking at your ability to execute on the first prototype wasn't so great. They're looking at the prototype itself isn't really done, maybe confusing, didn't grasp their concept. They're not seeing anything to enhance their confidence that you're going to be able to execute on this again. So going to investors, again, probably isn't the right direction. Rather, you've got to figure out how to take that prototype how to find something, anything in it, even if it wasn't your original venture, and see if you can figure out how to make something good out of it. The code may be crap, the design may be crap, but what can be salvaged from that initial investment? Because really, that's the asset that you have. That's sort of your, your funding, if you will. That is what you've got, and so you've got to figure out a way to somehow convert it into something useful. You know, I've talked to many uh, founders and, um, and you know, new CEOs who have been in this situation where they've got this piece of code, it, it's really not any good, and they end up taking sometimes years to convert that into some kind of viable and usable uh, product that, that can gain some traction. And then on the backs of that traction, they can go, and get some additional angel investing. Okay, so so you know after we thank our sponsors, you know I'll get into uh, a little bit about what to do uh, with these you know left these contracts that get left behind and, and how to deal with these foreign companies or whoever it is who, who didn't finish the work. Um, but first, let's go ahead and thank our sponsors. Today's episode is brought to you by Netflix. Netflix streams TV shows and movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV with your Xbox 360, PS3, or Nintendo Wii. Watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want, and cancel anytime. For a limited time, you can get a free 30-day trial membership. Go to www.netflix.com askj and sign up now. Be sure to use this URL so they know we sent you. All right, you're in this position because you've hired this uh, outside firm, doesn't matter that they're foreign or not, and they didn't deliver on what you wanted. Now, you're out of funds because theoretically you've paid for this. If your contract with that firm was specific and they're not delivering on what you asked for, then you're actually in a pretty good position to recover those costs because they shouldn't be charging you for something that they, uh, you know, in, in this case, uh, is outside or a breach of the contract. This is why upfront, before you contract development firms, you have to have an extremely clear vision on what it is you want developed. I recommend for, you know, online type of properties or, or if you've got something like a, a mobile app, to have even possibly the, the design of this app or the initial design of this already worked out. Um, maybe mocked up, maybe wireframes, 
something that defines the flow of how the product works that you can then give to your outsourced development shop. So that way, next time you're in this position, if they're, if they're changing the functionality or it's not doing what it is you wanted uh, it to do, then you have ground to stand on to say they're not delivering and so therefore you should not pay. Now most of these contractors require a retainer up front. Um, if it is a foreign uh, contractor, you may be in a position where it's hard to recover that money, but at least it, it's just the retainer and you've still got your funds left over, hopefully that you set aside for this project, that you then can reuse and in a much more efficient way, hopefully put together something that does work. Thanks for joining us in today's episode. Remember, write us questions to askj at revision3.com. We'd love to see your comments on Facebook and YouTube. YouTube is youtube.com slash askjadelson. And please follow me at, at jadelson. Anyway, thanks and until next time.